Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is Brad and we're back with the Reverb G2 headset here as a follow-up to a video where I had locked my IPD in order to rigorously test the VR wave lenses for you because they were bumping my face and uh, pushing my IPD beyond its setting. I will leave a link for that video in the description below but never mind that. Today I will talk about how I had made this using a Mint 3D Pro Pen for the adjustability and variable temp, but I like them because they have auto retract. Nevertheless, I did make a little loop and uh, that little hook shape would touch the casing and then I had extended out and made a cross section um, horizontally that would prevent it from popping out uh, on its own, although it will come off with a little force if necessary, and um, what it does is it stops the slider from going beyond my set IPD setting, and um, this was done by watching the screen, and while this plastic would be warm, I had set it ever so slightly beyond my IPD, and then I was pushing on it uh, until it got set to my IPD. You'll note that you can access this menu by going to your settings. And from your settings, you go to Mixed Reality, and then Headset Display. And under Headset Display, you then um, go to your calibration. This actually reads from the Reverb G2 headset directly and I do recommend launching the Mixed Reality Portal because sometimes this does get sluggish and uh, delayed in response. Um, that does seem to be resolved when you launch the Mixed Reality Portal even if you close it afterwards. But uh, as you'll know, that uh, if you push it too slow, it actually takes a long time to update. So you may want to kind of slide it back and forth and kind of bump whatever, uh, whether it's plastic or whatever you're using, until you reach your IPD. As you can see, I actually accidentally slipped a little beyond my IPD. And uh, this is a little finicky, so it's hard to even <laughs> figure what exactly it's reading. But uh, when I bump it to the end, uh, it seems to be right around my IPD, just a little bit higher. And uh, you can see that right there. My apologies, my camera was out of focus. And uh, I do appreciate all your guys' support. I would like to save up for a stand for this Sony camera and uh, expand my channel. So thank you for your participation and uh, keep it up. But just before I let you go, I thought I'd show you how the mechanism operates. If you clip the hook in place, it will click in. And as soon as it's set, you can see that it does not touch or obstruct the mechanism. You can then push your slider against it and... Uh, It's not going anywhere. I also wanted to give you a pro tip for those who may have those extension USBs. Um, you can use the same plastic to wrap around the corners. As you may note, they are sharp so that you don't hurt yourself. Thanks again for watching my videos.